Okay, back to the problem. Sorry for the interruption. So now we're back. And of course, basically, we don't always need to do this, okay? We know that this is on a table. We know that this Fn, normal force, and gravity are going to cancel out. So the only forces we're considering, really, are four of them. It's the friction, the tension, the tension, and this one. Now, another thing, this time I'm going to draw it all out, okay? But before we do, we have to pick a positive direction. So let's pick the positive direction in green. And I'm going to go, I'm going to say, listen, A is moving to the right, and B is moving down. Now, this is a path, okay? So let's now write the equation for that path. Negative force of friction plus T, this one, minus T plus MBG, okay? That's going to equal the mass of the system times the acceleration of the system. Now, shame on me, I actually didn't write the equation as to what I'm doing here. What I'm doing is the summation of the forces on the system is equal to F net of the system. So you can easily see now, in fact, that T cancels T. See, this T and this T cancel each other out. This one's in the positive direction, this one's in the negative direction, and what the reason they cancel out is because it's the same rope and as a system the rope connects the two masses and therefore the tension between those two masses is called an internal force and it just cancels itself out. So the only things we're left with here are negative force of friction. Now what is force of friction in this case? Let's not forget that force of friction, the definition is mu Fn. Okay, and in this case Fn equals mg. We already know that. So we go mu, which m? A. All right. So let's substitute that in. Mu mag plus mbg equals, now the total mass of the system is ma plus mb times the acceleration. Now, if you remember, the first step in solving the, for the for the tension of this problem, and by the way, that's exactly what we're trying to find. We should have put that up here. Tension equals what? That's what we're looking for. In order to solve this, we need to find A first. So let's solve for A. Okay, I'm just going to rearrange things here a little bit algebraically. MBG is positive, minus mu MAG, divided by MA plus MB. That's equal to A. All right. Now that we have A, uh, we, can, we can do a little bit more factorization, by the way. We can factor out a G and go M like that. There you go. And divide by MA plus MB. That's equal to A. And let's, let's do the calculation for that. So that's 9.8 meters per second squared times MB, which was 2 minus 0.3 times uh, 5 divided by 2 plus 5 is 7. Now what's interesting here to note just before we do the calculation is listen if 0.3 times 5 is greater than or equal to 2 we're not going to have any acceleration. Friction cannot create a negative acceleration. It is a reactive force. Okay? So let's get our calculator. And I've got my nice RPN. 9.8 <coughs> enter 2 enter 0.3 enter 5 times minus times 7 divided by. And I'm getting 0.7 divided by 7 divided by, so I'm getting 0.1. Okay, so let's put that down. 0.1 meters per second squared is A. Now that's not a very big acceleration, by the way. And it makes sense because the friction is, is almost negating uh, the mass hanging over the table. 
So now, if we want to solve for t, we have to do now a free body diagram on either a or b. So, you know, if we come up here and we look at a or b, well, which one's more difficult? If we look at A, A's got force of friction and right there, and it's got tension right there. So that's two forces we have to deal with. B has tension and gravity. That's, uh, that's two forces we have to deal with as well. Basically, in either case, it's going to be the same amount of work. So I'm just going to pick B for simplicity. You're, you will get the same answer if you've done everything correctly. So for B, we've got tension going up, and we've got gravity going down. So now we say, okay, summation of the forces is equal to F net. And remember, we've got to pick the same direction as positive. Okay, so uh, that's negative T plus MBG is equal to F net. And F net, of course, is MA. In this case, it's MBA. And we know that T now is going to equal, now this is an easy way of thinking about this, is take this T to the other side and take this guy to the other side. So that's going to be MBG minus MBA. And now, of course, we can factor out a B, MB, and go, there you go. Now, you see, the cool thing is we've already calculated A. So the tension's going to be, uh, for the hanging mass, I think that was 2 times 9.8 newtons per kilogram, or meters per second squared, doesn't really matter, and minus an acceleration of 0 0.1. Not much of a difference, is it? So if you put that through your calculator, that's just 9.7, uh, two times, which gives us an answer of 19.4. OK, so 19.4 Newtons is our final answer. Now, just for fun, just for fun, let's see if we would have gotten the same answer had we done the free body of, the, of A. So let me come down here. Let me draw a line. Okay, let's change colors back. And here is the free body diagram of A. So there it is. We've got tension going this way, and we've got friction going this way. Okay? Now, if we say summation of the forces, again, is F net, and we know now that this way is positive. So that means it's negative force of friction plus T now is equal to MA acceleration. And if we solve for T and at the same time substitute mu FN for friction, right? And FN, of course, being MG, we're going to have T is equal to MAA plus force of friction, okay? And now we can rewrite force of friction again, and we can also st plug in some numbers. I'll just let you write it again because it's, it's simple. So that's mu MAG, right? Because FN was equal to MG in this case factor out, what can we factor out? An MA okay there you go now let's plug in the values and see if we get the same answer. If we don't we've done something wrong. So in this case MA was 5 acceleration was 0 0.1 meters per second squared plus 0.3 times 9.8 Okay, let's try it. So, <coughs> point 0.3, enter, 9.8 times, 
point uh, one plus five times. Okay, hold on a sec. I did something wonky. Let me try that again. Point three enter nine point eight times point one plus five times. And I'm getting fifteen point two. Okay, so we made a mistake somewhere. Let's see if we can figure out where our mistake is. Is it with this or the other one? This now this is actually I didn't plan it this way, but it's interesting that by doing this twice, we've actually found an error in our solution. Let's see where it is. This tension is correct. That friction is correct. That's negative. That's positive. That's MA. Therefore, T is going to equal MA plus force of friction. That's right. That's right. This is correct. Um, and MA is 5. It is and mu was 0.3 that's correct now it all, it all looks right here so either we've messed up we've either messed up something before let's see if we did um summation of the force is negative t plus mbg so t is equal to mbg minus mba no that looks good too hmm did I do this calculation right? That's just 9.7 times 2, isn't it? Yeah. 9.7 enter 2 times. No, that looks right as well. Maybe the acceleration's wrong. I think I messed up. I must have messed up on the acceleration. Let's see here. 0.3 enter 5 times. Change sign. 2 plus. 7 divided by 9.8 times. Aha! I did mess up on the acceleration because I'm getting an answer of 0.7. Aha! So it wasn't 0.1 after all. See, so this is actually a good lesson for you guys. I did make a mistake, but look what it ended up. It ended up saving my butt. Let's say if this was on a test. So this is wrong. The answer is actually 0.7 meters per second squared. I did this calculation wrong. So now that we know the real answer for acceleration, let's go back and let's see if we really do get the right answer. So let's change this to a 0.7. So therefore, that's 9.8 enter 0.7 minus two times and I'm getting 18.2 so this is wrong again let's write the tension here equaling 18.2 newtons okay and let's now go down and let's try it again over here where this now is 0.7 for the acceleration so let's go again uh, 0.7 enter 0.3 enter uh, 9.8 times plus 5 times. And lo and behold, I get 18.2 again. Yay! Okay? So both times for the tension, I got the same answer. 18.2 newtons and 18.2 newtons. We did it right. Hey, thanks for sticking with me on this one. See ya.